vlog uh, vlog five that is unreal I feel like I've just started and I'm already on vlog five given that it's a weekly vlog that's mad that means I started about a month ago that's, in, that's, that's crazy it's crazy I've also done a couple of HelloFresh uh, cook with me videos if, uh, check those out if you want to I like, quite like those. Um, I think I'm going to carry on doing those. Uh, this is just to say hello. It's Monday morning. Um, I got up late today. Because I went to bed late. I'm on annual leave at the moment. So I'm not. It's, it's Monday but I'm not working today. Um, I need to start going to bed early and getting up early. Otherwise when I get to go back to work on Thursday. It'll, it's going to be very difficult. <laughs> so yeah. I just want to say welcome to the vlog. And. Yeah, we shall see how the week progresses. I've only got one thing this week that we're going to go and do. I mean, I'll have to wait and see what that is. It'll probably be in the description, so you probably know what it is already. But, uh... Monday, just been out for a walk with my brother, which is very nice. Um, got quite a bit done today, despite getting out of bed at 10 o'clock. <laughs> I used to struggle a lot with getting stuff done. I mean, I really used to struggle, especially with I had time off work. I struggle with my mental health. I take an antidepressant, which helps a bit, but the thing that's really helped me massively. Um, is a supplement called Brainzyme. Terrible name, great product. And it doesn't give me tons of energy, like I'm not like bouncing like Tigger. I'm still pretty tired all the time because I'm, you know, do suffer with depression. And I take anesthesia meds, which make me tired. Um, so I am still quite knackered a lot of the time. But the Brainzyme um, supplements which I take daily, they just help me to get stuff done. Before I started taking them, um, I just wasn't, you know, laundry didn't always get done, the washing up often would pile up for a week or two weeks at a time, which for a lot of people is unthinkable. Um, now that just doesn't happen now i just get it done like most people do and it's got i think it's got some caffeine in it but it's mostly other natural extracts i'll have to have a look at the list for you and if i can find a way i'll link the website below yeah i it's just it's just helped me so much i didn't really intend to put this in here but uh, you know talking about getting stuff done um, That is the thing that's helped me and I'm just mentioning this because it's a product that I use not because it's This is only my fifth vlog. So, you know, obviously it's not paid promotion or anything like that. This is not health advice If you're already on different meds and you want to take it maybe talk to your doctor um, I didn't but that was at my own risk you do the same it will be at your risk obviously um yeah uh got a few other things to do today i need to paint my nails because they're a mess 
And I've just started playing God of War again. I love that game. If you follow me on, if you're friends with me on Insta, or if you follow me on Insta, you will have seen that. So I'm having fun. Uh, I was having fun playing that last night. I had to force myself to put it down and go to bed at like mid midnight because, um, yeah, sorry for waffling on, but it's my vlog. <laughs> so I can do what I want, really. This is what I'm cooking tonight. Halloumi and roasted vegetable rigatoni. <laughs> Yum. I will uh, show you what it looks like when I'm done. And this is what it looks like. Uh, the light's not very good in here now because uh, it's dark. It's kind of darkish outside. Um, yeah. As you can see, they are not stingy. That's my leftovers. Um, they are not stingy with the portions. This is quite a big bowl. <laughs> you probably can't tell from that. But yeah, I'm going to go enjoy this now. Good morning. It's Tuesday. The thing I plan to do, I can't do today because... Uh, place is closed and I didn't realise they just closed Monday, Tuesday. But, good news, my eye has cleared up sufficiently so that I can do my makeup again. Yay! Um, this, this eyeshadow looks very orange on camera. It's not quite as orange, it's more of a brownie orange colour. It looks nicer in person. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pop out, do a bit of shopping. And then, I did not go to bed early last night, as planned. I went to bed later. Because <laughs> girl was, your girl was playing God of War. You know, I should have started that earlier on in my annual leave, like at the very start. Because, although then I probably wouldn't have got anything done. I did get some stuff done yesterday. So yeah, I did get stuff done yesterday. It wasn't like playing the whole day, it's just because I started playing it in the year anyway. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't matter. Good morning. Um, it's my last day of annual leave today. Uh, girl's been able to do her makeup again. Everything looks orange in this camera. This is not the same colour as I was wearing yesterday. Um, what I thought I would do for the vlog, because um, it'll get very boring if it's just me in my normal daily routine because my life is quite quiet <laughs> visit some of the uh, places local to me um, I thought we would start with the Delaware Pavilion which is not far from this down the road really um, so we're going to go and do that today it's just clouded over which is a shame because it looks beautiful in the sunshine um, so yeah um, just got dressed and everything so we're going to go and do that now. They're closed. Yeah, the Delaware was closed, which is a bit of a pain, but you know, it's fine. I'll go back and finish it Saturday. Uh, so it's literally down the road for me, so it's not like I wasted lots of time getting there. Um, I have to show you like the gourmet meal I just cooked for my lunch. Pastry slice and beans. Oh yeah, and a packet of hula hoops. <laughs> Food of the gods, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, I'm not suggesting this is a healthy meal. It's not something I eat very often. But I am going to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm hungry. Didn't have any breakfast because I got up late. So yeah. Um, that's it for now really. Yeah, I shall see you probably tomorrow now. So, ta-ta. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Try 
trying to work and that's been going on all morning it's seriously giving me a headache yeah I'm not happy today it's making it that's making it very hard that noise is awful it's like someone using angle grinder on I know concrete or something it's, it's like a, oh it's awful and it's just been constant since like eight o'clock <sighs> might have to work in the office tomorrow <laughs> good morning might put my dressing gown on in a minute because it looks like I'm naked and I'm not uh, we're gonna go out and about today but first Hair needs drying, makeup needs applying, but it doesn't need applying. I'm not gonna put some makeup on. So I thought I'd uh, do a quick little time lapse right here. On with the day. Last time we were here, there was a sad little sign on the door saying, uh, closed <laughs> unexpectedly. No sad little sign say, but there is, I don't know whether you can see that from there. Hang on, let me flip you down so I can zoom. There is a market in the car park. Can you see the tents, look. So <laughs> it's probably gonna be quite busy inside, so I will probably um, just do some shots and do the voiceover. The shots you're going to see here are from two different days, so you'll, you'll see a difference in the weather. Um, this is the street side of the building. Um, I've got a different co couple of different angles here. Um, for those of you that don't know, the building it was built in 1935. Um, architects were Eric Mendelssohn and Serge Chermayev. Um This is the other side. This is actually uh, from the C side of the building, so I've got the prom behind me uh, at this point. Um, it was actually built as a result of an architectural competition um, initiated by the Ninth Earl de, la, Earl de la War, which is where the building gets its name. Obviously, you can see there the difference in the weather. Um, and there's this lawn between the built the pavilion and the promenade, and they have sometimes they have events on the lawn, um, so they do make use of it for that sometimes. Um, the building reopened in two thousand and five after quite extensive restoration um, I think they did uh, a really good job um, and it's really nice 
Um, it's a really nice building now. Um, whereas before it was it was quite run down. Um, yeah. Um, as you come up here, there's this sort of balcony area, uh, and you can look out towards the sea as you'll see in a minute. Um, and to the right, you can look all the way across to Eastbourne or Beachy Head. Um, this is quite a clear day. There's the bandstand, and there's these funny little art, architectural sort of pieces of art that are on the the lawn. Um, when I went on this day, um, yeah, lovely views from up here. And then when you look over this sort of balcony kind of area, there's beachhead in the distance. Um, when you look down here, there's there's a cafe off to the lift, and then the, then there's um, sort of kiosks underneath where I'm stood. I don't think they're open all year round. I think the cafe might be, but I don't think the kiosks are. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, but certainly in the summertime, it's open. Um, yeah. What is the artwork by? Do you know? Holly Hendry. Holly Hendry. It's called England's Creative There's another Cups. one up there. Like. Uh, and they've, they've, there's, the, the whole thing is seven different artists in oh, seven okay. different locations. Ah. So this is... All in the UK or...? Yeah, going from uh, Essex, round Kent, through Hastings, one here, and then the last one is in Eastbourne. I haven't, I, I haven't uh, visited any of the other ones, you know, because I'm just being employed You're by, here. The, yeah. by the Delaware. <laughs> Can't be in two places at once. To do the survey, because uh, as with all of these things, you know, when it's sponsored by someone, they want to kind uh, of okay. feedback about who came to see it, did they know about the whole exhibition, how effective Oh, and it's sponsored campaign. by England's Creative Coast, is it? Or yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. That, that's the name of the whole programme. I think the sponsors are all kinds of things like oh, the okay. Council, there's a collection of people, local local um, councils. There's obviously no exhibition downstairs, but and the space downstairs isn't very big either. But it's always got it's usually got very interesting. Hi. <laughs> That's a shame. The space downstairs is just in between yeah. exhibitions. Time for coffee. This is the view from the balcony. Uh, it's just a shame there's that ruddy great big banister in the way, but still beautiful. Boats are out. Let me stand up for a minute. I've got a cough. 
coffee. I should have asked for, li for a pump of vanilla or something because it's not very sweet, but I'll live. I'll live. I cannot see the screen at all, so. <laughs> that's the bandstand. Very pretty shape. And that's obviously where I was the other day, down there. Beautiful. It's quite warm. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my coffee now. And then we will continue on. Where? Oh my god. Oh! No, I haven't got 20 quid, unfortunately, to spend on a record at the moment. It's not record store day today, is it? No, that was. I was going to say. I didn't think it was, but I was like, where have oh, I been? Okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> I would anticipate you being a lot busier if yes. it was. <laughs> Did you used to be upstairs? Yeah. I thought. So? Yeah, basically when COVID hit and um, they need the more space in the restaurant. So ah, okay, that there. makes sense, yeah. yeah it's kind of a nice house down so. I would assume that the artworks are for sale as well. Let me step back a bit. So, yeah, music's not dead. In the little the gift shop is the best bit in my opinion. My dog eats better than me. <laughs> nice. These are greetings cards. Lovely things in here. Branded things. <laughs> Little mini Frida Carlo, how cute is that? Little thinkers, look. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. We've just got so many unusual books and gorgeous things. Children's books. A classic. That's what it looks like when it's lit up at night. I think this is the market they usually have on in Devonshire Road. Lucky Duck Bakery. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at all the yummy things. Look at that cake. Simply Sussex Potties. Legless Rambler, real ale chutney, that's brilliant. <laughs> Grumpy Grandad's. <laughs> Grumpy Grandad's prize winning green tomato chutney, that's yeah, brilliant. They're all named after real people. Oh, they? oh that's lovely. <laughs> Simply Sussex produce. Trunk hampers. Chutneys, chocolates, biscuits, sauces, booze. <laughs> Confused oils and more. Lovely things. <laughs> 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 
bar stuff. Teeny mini rubber ducks. This is what smells so good. Chicken pasquias, garlic mushrooms, garlic potatoes. Look at these pans, look. Look at those. Oh. <laughs> smells amazing. You can smell it halfway down the street. Rabbit, duck, farmhouse, pork riette. Different cured meats and chorizo type sausages. Seps. Mushroom seps. Seps is a type of mushroom. That's a very confusing label. Just out the oven. Just get them out there. Chicken, chicken. Yum. Look away now if you're a vegetarian. Or vegan. This is cute. Look at these. Made from cutlery. Fresh donuts. Mm. Oh, that's it. It's a couple of the classic cars out from the Bexel 100 Club. Bexel 100 has been going since I was a kid, or probably before that, actually. Because oh, there we go. Oh, I can see it. That's it. Time to head home. Yeah, that was the dinner, folks. Um, obviously, those of you that know me would already know about the Delaware. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a lovely, I think it's a lovely place and it's really progressed. It's come on leaps and bounds from where it was like 15, 20 years ago. You Now it really is, it's, it's, you know, it's very popular and they have great artists on there. Um, yeah, and the exhibitions are always interesting and, and it's just, it's just really, it's a nice place to visit now. So yeah. Definitely, if you've not been, go and have a look and see what's on. I'll put I'll put the website in the description. It's easy to find there if you Google it, but I will I'll put it down there. And there's lots of information in there about what's on, what's available at, to eat and drink at the cafe, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So um, that's going to be the end of this vlog for this week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a little thumbs up. That would really help me out. Um, yeah, and there'll be another one next week, obviously. Thank you for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye, folks.